Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ.com. And let me just talk with you about the U.S. Jobs Report for October 2016 that was released on November 4th. Now, the good news is there were 161,000 new jobs created and that the headline unemployment rate uh, went down to 5.9% from 5%. Even what's called the U6 rate, which includes people who want to work full-time but you know, can't find something full-time, declined to 9.5%. Uh, to Let's see now, private sector jobs increased by 142,000, of which professional services were 43, healthcare 31, government 19. There was a decline in manufacturing of 9,000. And uh, it, generally on the surface, it looks like a, a decent report uh, for the U.S. economy post-2008, or a typical one. Uh, you know, the labor force participation rate is at 62.8%. And now let me go beneath the surface. Because uh, when you start digging into the report, you know, some interesting stuff there that doesn't necessarily get reported on the news uh, very often. So here's a couple of things. Uh, Part-time jobs were the biggest component of the growth here. So understand, the government revises things even on the fly, so part-time jobs increased by 430,000. Full-time jobs went down by 103,000. You see, when we hear the word job, we tend to think of full-time, but the government thinks if you make a dollar in the course of that month, you've got a job or work one hour is the actual language that they use. That's a job. So, you know, the reality is it seems like we're creating an Uber economy right now with most of the jobs being created being part-time positions. The GDP appears to have grown at its slowest rate uh, in eight years. 94 million people aren't working. Uh, there were 238,000 people who had jobs but couldn't go to work because of the hurricanes in the southeast. I think it was Hurricane Matthew. Uh, construction jobs increased by 11,000. Retail went down, which is surprising given the holiday season coming up. But uh, you know, what, in, in the last period of time, I think it's an eight-year period, one million new jobs were created that are held by women. And of those one million, the government reports that one million went to foreign workers. Um, one third of students are not uh, able to make payments on their student loans. Uh, I'm mentioning all this stuff because the rosy picture that the government wants to paint isn't the reality for most of us. You know, that People are working two and three jobs in order to make enough money to pay their bills or you know, not pay their bills so late. Uh, so, you know, a mediocre report when you dig down, an adequate report uh, as you look at it on the surface. I'll just simply say for you as a job hunter, you need to keep your head up and not head down. Uh, my belief is that we're going to be hitting a recession probably next year. It could be the year after, only because recoveries don't go on forever. They do eventually come down. And according to government statistics, this one's been going on for almost eight years, which is a long recovery. A mediocre one from a jobs and economic um, uh, development perspective, but a recovery nonetheless. So how long do you think this will go on? Uh, so my encouragement is to make sure your skills are up to date, that you're doing your networking now and not waiting until the very end. You're getting involved, making sure that you are learning what you need to in order to be marketable in case. Uh, and uh, you're not just simply focused on your job. You're thinking of yourself as the CEO of your own business where you are responsible for uh, the shareholders, which are your family and yourself. Hope you found this helpful. I'll be back soon with more. Take care.